Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Jamie. I am the director at Bethany Early Childhood Education Center. We come together for a devotional thought from the word of our Lord in prayer. Let's begin by gathering in the name of our God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For years at Christmas time, many have enjoyed the classic Frank Capra film, It's a Wonderful Life. The film warms our hearts with the inspiring lesson that life is precious. These reflections pair God's word with powerful scenes from the life and time of the film's central character, George Bailey. As we ponder today's devotion, let's begin with a word from our Lord through the second book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 61, 3. They may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. The prophet Isaiah saw a day coming when the people who have been brokenhearted and oppressed would find a new description. Their heads would be covered with garlands of joy and they would be anointed with the oil of gladness. They would be a people strong and sturdy, oaks of righteousness planted back in their homeland. The child, the greatest gift, was coming into the world to bring life to those who for so long had been lifeless. If we look penitently into our spirits, we would all have to confess that such lifelessness is within us. But the child comes to bring us life, to turn our mourning into joy, and to raise up those who are faint with the praise of righteousness. When there is pressure and hardship upon us, when we are captive to the demands and judgments of others, we can have trouble seeing life as rewarding. George Bailey, much like his father, feels the pressure of Mr. Potter, bearing down hard upon him. But that doesn't stop George from boasting about life in the midst of it. His younger brother, Harry, received the Congressional Medal of Honor for his valor during the war, and is coming back to his hometown for a celebration of his achievement. It's front page news, good news for the Bailey family and for the community. Other pressures and temptations to despair may come. Days of mourning and faint spirit may return. But our hearts are planted in the good news, that the child of life is planted in our midst, in a, man, in a manger and on a cross, to bring a day of promise and glory. We join our hearts together and pray. Our Father, you shower upon us the grace of your glorious righteousness. Make us bold to proclaim your promise in the face of all adversity. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Concerning our weekly prayer calendar, we pray for those who have lost work and are struggling with financial burdens. Lord God, you are the owner and provider of all we have in life. Provide for those, provide for those we lift before you and their families, that through the communities they live in and the congregations they are associated with, they might know your provision and blessing. In the name of him who gave himself for us, Jesus our Lord, we pray, amen. And so we go in the bond of Jesus among us, in his peace and living in the steadfast, steadfastness of his spirit within us. During these days of Advent, we pray through the hymn, Savior of the nations, come. Then stepped forth the Lord of all from his pure and kingly hall. God of God, yet fully man, his heroic course began. Glory to the Father, sing. Glory to the Son, our King. Glory to the Spirit, be now and through eternity. In Jesus' name, amen.